The calendar may be showing the end of summer, but if the racing calendar was a living thing, it would be itching with anticipation. Fall weather is even better for our wind-powered fiberglass friends, so there's much to look forward to. The New York Yacht Club up in Newport, Rhode Island gets a jump on this phenomenon, and this is where Rolex presents Race Week at Newport. The T2P TV team was up there for almost nine days getting you the macro and the micro stories from the race course, from offboard, onboard, in the water, and in the air. When performance counts, the choice is clear. North sales, better by design. Do you think you have what it takes to keep up with us? I mean, actually, to be a videographer at T2P TV. Well, we're searching for you. We are a full-service video production, broadcast, sales, and marketing company that specializes in highly pre-produced same-day coverage of sailing regattas and other events. I'm telling you, it's a lot harder than it looks. We also produce documentaries, interviews, promos, commercials, and news reports, and video for social media. Hong Kong, Cuba, Mexico, Denmark, Tortola, California, St. Thomas, Canada, Newport, Bitter End Yacht Club, and Charleston are just some of the places we've traveled to for work in the past few years. Want to come? T2P TV has immediate openings for salespeople and or videographers. We define videographer as someone who is funny, smart, and motivated, and can film and edit. Also, let us know if you have interest in photography, graphic design, powerboat driving, commentating, or remote helicopters. We are looking for subcontractors, part-timers, and interns, depending on experience. Pay will also depend on experience, and full-time positions can be discussed. We're looking for people to start anytime. Experience on sailboats and powerboats is a plus. Experience with a camera and sound equipment preferred. Experience with Adobe Premiere preferred. And ownership of a camera and laptop is not essential, but it's a plus. We are primarily looking for someone living in the Annapolis area to help with local events and or travel to remote locations. But contact us still if you're located somewhere else since we could just meet up somewhere on the map. Are you ready? During the summer here in Annapolis, we don't have weekend warriors, we have all week long warriors. The biggest night of the week being the Annapolis Yacht Club Wednesday night races, and there's a new commentator in town. I'm that chick and I'm talking about you guys out there. Send me commentary worthy tidbits about your boat via email, I need the intel. Someone getting married on the boat, got three generations sailing together, going to your class's world championship somewhere, let me know. And speaking of Wednesday night racing, I couldn't let another series go by without a little crash and burn. Still trying to sort the mess out of there. This time behind the jib is stuck up, comes tumbling down. They still have a lot more challenge just to complete this race. Bruce, in all your sailing, you've never dropped a kite in the water, have you? No, I've never done that. Are you kidding? No, I couldn't. Me neither. I... No, not, 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 no. No way. Nope, nope. Now, something doesn't look quite right about this, Bruce. Big trouble for these guys. Big trouble for Jollymon. The kite went over the bow during the hoist. It's filling up with water. It could split in half right here. Here we go. Let's drag the kite in the water before we do a, a windward hoist while the helmsman jibes heading away from the course. I'm not sure whether they're pulling out bubble gum shrimp out of that spinnaker. Let's don't worry about sailing towards the finish line. Let's just drop hey, the. <laughs> going the wrong way. 
Hey! Mountain lion eaters got a lot of explaining to do. Going to pull some fish up with that one. Now the crew's trying to pull it out. Now he's dead downwind with the main luffing in inside. Still working on pulling the kite up. The spinnaker's acting like a giant water break. The crew trying to pull it out of the water quickly. Actually, it's Wednesday night. Take your time. No rush. The kite will go up. It's going to have to dry when it gets up at this point. Oh, well. Upcoming events for the T2B TV team involve a trip up to the Oak Cliff Sailing Center in Oyster Bay, New York, this time for the NACRA 17, 49er FX, and 49er National Championships near the end of August. You could call these three classes the two-person performance boats for the 2016 Olympics in Rio. You also could call these competitors the ones already halfway into their four-year campaigns. These are the stages where the weak are weeded out and only the talented and willing survive. In September, when the sea breeze is best and it huffs and puffs from the west, under the Golden Gate, St. Francis Yacht Club The Hook, Rolex Big Boat Series, The Bait. Registrations are piling in from around the globe to take on the high level of competition and reliable Mother Nature. Welcome to the office on board Icra in Barcelona. This week we have a very special guest in our show. His name is Francesco Bruni. He's Italian, beautiful blue eyes, he's a champion. Welcome on board, Francesco. Thank you very much. Uh, Francesco, you are here skippering uh, a boat for the 12 meters yes, world. Yes, it's a, it's a jump in the history. Uh, it's, a, it's a great experience. Uh, Mr. Bertelli, a Prada owner who is uh, is, uh, he owns uh, two 12 meters. One is a vintage boat, Nayala. Mr. Bertelli asked me to uh, come here and uh, take a team uh, and try to win this championship. And uh, uh, it's been a, a great experience for me because I never sail in wooden boats. And uh, it's uh, so different, uh, very nice. I'm very surprised because I thought that in this class uh, there would be a uh, very big difference in boat speed and the boat and the race would be decided only in boat speed. But if you do a mistake, you pay the mistake. And, uh, and it's a great battle between the boats and having you guys with this boat as well in the mix. Uh, it really is uh, something very nice. Well, Francesco, um, thank you very much. Thank we you wish guys. you good luck to win the championship. Uh, but also, not today. <laughs> and also win the week, but it will be a battle. <laughs> thank you. Thank, thank you, you very much. Picture a stunning tent with golden chairs, hardwood floors, and soft candlelit tables. Now throw this video up on the screen and bam, you've got the Race Week at Newport presented by Rolex Award Ceremony. Jeep sheet here, I'll be grinding and 